John Shibley is practicing hatred and bigotry towards all Christians and Jews and non-Muslims by personally excluding all non-Muslims on his trip to the Hajj. You are sponsoring a trip to the Hajj, is that correct? I'm Did not you, sponsoring a trip to the Hajj. But you're going, you're, I'm going you're for Hajj. as a leader of that trip. I am going as a, a, as a volunteer coordinator. No, it has you as a leader. It's advertised uh, that you are a leader of that trip. Right. Now at the Hajj, mm -hmm. which is in Mecca, sure. it is illegal right. for any non-Muslim to attend. That means every non... Let me finish the question. Mm -hmm. Now, as a civil rights right, leader, right. isn't it somewhat problematic right. that as a civil rights leader that you would advocate and profit from a trip I don't profit that from is that. religious apartheid because right. nobody else in the world is allowed right. to step uh, foot in there without mm -hmm. fear of arrest? Uh, first of all, uh, I'm not profiting from a trip. I'm going for Hajj. That's my personal religious journey. And secondly, the advertisement in, 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 in says the that you're Hanafi leading, of thought, that you are leading in, this in trip. In the Hanafi school of thought, actually, there's no problem with non-Muslims entering those cities. It's a policy the government has. I have a lot of problems with the Saudi government. I've spoken out very publicly and condemned a lot of the problems with the Saudi government. So I'm not going to be responsible for the Saudi government, just like you're not going to be responsible for the Ugandan government. Right, but you're going to the Hajj. You are yes, going I'm, to Mecca. And I'm very excited that to go on practices religious it. apartheid. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hassan Shibli just told you a lie. Mecca and Medina have been excluding non-Muslims under threat of arrest or a death sentence long before Saudi Arabia's founding on September 23, 1932. If Hassan Shibli's words were truthful, he should open his Hajj trip to everyone rather than demanding a declaration of conversion to Islam and thus practicing Islamic religious apartheid, hate, and bigotry. Hassan Shibli should stand in solidarity with all non-Muslims, demanding the opening of Mecca and Medina to all people as any true American civil rights leader activist would. The fact of the matter is, Care and Hassan Shibli support Islamic religious apartheid by their actions, not their words. Next, we talk with Muaz Hassan, Care Florida's Islamophobia and Communications Director, and the lies continue. Now, are you going to be going on the Hajj trip with Hassan? Oh, no, I wish I was. That would, no. that would be now, great. Now, I've got a question for you because Hassan is leading this trip, Hassan Shibley. And, well, there he and, is. You can talk to him. Yeah, I'll get to him in a second. Now, in Mecca and Medina, it's illegal for any non-Muslim to enter those two cities. Now, as work, because you work with CARE and as a civil rights activist, don't you find it the, uh, don't you find it somewhat hypocritical that you would be a civil rights activist and yet uh, profit from a trip where it is literally religious apartheid where non-Muslims cannot even step foot in there as you're getting your 501 c Do you pay your taxes? Yes. So that money goes to Saudi Arabia, doesn't it? Well, you're not answering the question. You're deflecting. Wait, do you support Saudi in, terrorism? In Saudi Arabia, Wait, saying, it you, is illegal you, for any non-Muslim to enter those two cities, and yet you go to Hajj there and profit from that trip, which is fine, but don't you find that as a civil rights activist that that is nothing but religious apartheid? Do you want to go to Saudi Arabia? To Mecca, I would love to go to Saudi Arabia and visit Mecca so and why, experience so the Hajj. So why don't you apply? Because I will get arrested, one, and one, according to the Saudi consulate, I cannot. But you pay your taxes to there. I just answered the question. I cannot. It is illegal for me. Just as if I was to sign up with your trip, with your with care. Well, you can ask Hassan. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just I saying that, that, that I would be rejected because I'm a non-Muslim. Now, as a civil you wanted, you wanted as a civil rights group, is that problematic for you at all? I mean, what what's your position at care? There's our executive director. No, you what's your? I know. What you have a position, oh, I don't have a position. at care? No, I don't. You don't. Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. And what's your name? Muaz Hassan just told us that he did not have a position at CARE, which is a lie. So we went to the CARE website and it says Muaz Hassan is CARE Florida's newest member fulfilling the role of the Islamophobia and Communications Director. Muaz, the son of South African immigrants who fought against the injustices and racism of apartheid regime, was inspired from a young age to be involved in fighting for freedom, justice, and equality for all. According to this interview, justice and equality for all does not apply to the non-Muslim. In fact, the only truthful statement coming out from CARE is from Omar Ahmed, 
who is the chairman of the board of care, when he said, Islam isn't in America to be equal to any other faith, but to become dominant. The Quran should be the highest authority in America, and Islam, the only accepted religion on earth.